Hello, friends, and welcome to Sunburst Inspirational Gathering Online. It can be very refreshing to find a place where we can come together and get and feel encouraged and inspired. And I do hope today by talking about spirit in nature and then move into a visualization and a beautiful chant at the end of our meditation, we will feel this inspiration and encouragement this day. And I do hope through this service, you can feel the love that is being conveyed. So let us take a moment to just pause and have a silent moment together in bringing in the teachers, the masters, the saints, the universal guardians to be here with us in this gathering together and bless us. When I think about spirit and nature, I'm reminded of Norman Paulson's quote that nature in her infinite variety is a supreme teacher for she springs forth from the imagination of our creator. Very powerful statement. And to realize that we are a part of this nature and we have these gifts of the senses and we are the love to be able to share these senses with our creator to truly experience the beauty and the love that is here. In Norman's autobiography, he writes about his father who was blind from birth and how he developed a keen sense of inner sight where he was able to connect with the living mother, father, spirit of creation whom he knew and loved so much. And without the aid of his physical eyes, he explored the unlimited realms of his imagination with the eye of his soul and with the inspirations that he received. He created story images to convey to his son and spoke to his son's soul and that inspired his son's imagination to grow. And many of those images came to fruition in Norm's life, including his direct personal experience with mother, father, spirit, and also in his desire to found Sunburst. Norm's dad was able to make this contact with spirit in nature and to find and to know spirit can be felt, known, and seen by awakening the eye of his soul and by the use of cultivating his imagination. Plato stated, in every person there is an eye of the soul far more precious than 10,000 physical eyes 
for by it alone is truth seen. The poet William Blake expressed that in order to see what's really here and what's really going on, you need to see through your eyes and not just with them. And this is how he was able to see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wildflower and hold infinity in the palm of your hand and experience eternity in an hour. Jesus referred to the eye of soul as the single eye where the light and love of spirit in nature can be seen, felt, and known. All we need is the longing and the desire and the willingness to serve. And as Normand would, would say, test the field of power to cultivate your imagination because through it comes divine inspiration from the author of the only perfect poem. So I'd like to invite you now to journey with me in a visualization. But before we go, I first would like us to have create this box right in front of us here. And in this box, we're going to place all our restlessness, our restless thoughts, <laughs> our fears, our worries. And you can give them a color, a name, and a shape. But place them here in this box. Place a lid on it. And let's, for the time, place them outside. And to be able to sit here now and breathe so that our mind becomes like the empty canvas as we begin to turn the page in our book of life. As we begin to turn a new page in our book of life. So let's take a moment and just breathe in Tense your entire body and release all tension that you may still be holding on to. For relaxation is important for the visualization and the journey that we'll be taking. So as we gently close our eyes, And feel the peace arising within us right in front of our mind's eye begin to visualize a large most beautiful calm crystal clear lake And not one ripple, 
moves. Just pure peace and calm. But hold such a presence. And the surface of this lake is so clear and calm. It's like a mirror that begins to reflect the evening sky. And there appears the very first star peeking through the sky and reflecting on the lake. And your full attention is observing this amazing experience. And it's here where we will place with a thought an intention that the spirit in nature reveal thyself to me reveal thyself to me awaken the eye of my soul and let me see let me feel let me know thee And you begin to feel the energy of peace, of calm, of connecting to life itself, to love itself. To the spirit in nature. And as this experience begins to dissolve, you find yourself now looking at this immense, beautiful forest of trees. And you smell the fresh air. And can feel the breeze on your face. As you immerse yourself into this vision, however you want to create it. And with every footstep, the humming sound of silence surrounds you as if it's coming out of the space of creation itself. You can feel the living pulse of the earth. And the mossy plants and ferns still drip in the morning dew. And it seems like you can hear them all singing, greeting the new day. And then you begin to notice the core strength of the trees 
deeply rooted into the earth with an amazing network of communication. The gentle breeze sways the branches and leaves as they sip in the rays of the morning sun. You stand there in awe as tears come streaming forth from your eyes in utmost gratitude for this experience. For this healing. As you begin to see the face of our Creator everywhere and in everything. And as you move out of this forest into this amazing, most beautiful golden meadow, you see friends there gathered in a circle, sitting in a circle with the noonday sun shining above their heads and it's radiating down upon them. And you are moved to be there and sit in that circle together. As you sit upright and connect with your breath, and place the gaze of your eyes at that point right between your eyebrows. The space where the eye of your soul, the single eye, will awaken, will open. As we sit here now in silence, for a few minutes more together.
before we come out of our meditation and open our eyes, let's make sure we bring with us the treasures and the gifts of connecting with spirit and nature that we received. And let's bring them with us into this new day so that we can be a willing guardian of this light in service. I was blessed in my youth to have found this amazing spiritual community of Sunburst where bringing in the spirit of nature is so intertwined in our teachings and in our way of life. And we offer so many retreats as part of our service that helps us connect and helps all our friends connect with the spirit in nature by offering meditation retreats, by offering silent meditation retreats where you truly feel the connection awakening within you of spirit and nature and how close it is. And we offer sacred geometry retreats where you can truly begin to uncover and discover the fingerprint of God throughout every place from the tiniest, smallest particle to the grandest and farthest away galaxy, the fingerprint of God. Plato once stated, it is through geometry that one purifies the eye of soul. So I'll, we all here at Sembers look so forward to be able to offer our retreats again and open the doors to our group meditations and fellowship gatherings and um, and to just share our company again. We truly look forward to that. And for right now, before ending this service, what we can do together is penetrate the atmosphere, the ethers, the energies with the love and the healing vibrations that we are feeling right now and penetrate move this energy out into the world, into the people, to uplift and free people of the suffering and the disconnect that they may be experiencing right now. And before we close, let us all chant together this beautiful chant of Paramahansa Yogananda in spirit and nature. And the words are simple. Spirit and nature dancing together. Victory to spirit and victory to nature. Radha, Radha, Radha Govinda Jai. And Radha is, is, the, is the universal divine mother, the deity, the Hindu deity. And Govinda represents the Godhead, inseparable. These two entities are inseparable. They dance together and make this entire creation. So let us, and Jai is the victory or hail. So Radha Govinda Jai. Namaste.
and thank you.